My journey was uh, a bit tough. The economy was very bad in Zimbabwe. No jobs, companies they were closing. So I decided to come here into South Africa looking for work. My first chance was operating a forklift because that was the only available option. I had pre previous experience from home. Then I had some experience welding mechanically just a little bit. I could do all sorts of small jobs. So they realized as time went on that this guy can easily adapt. Now I'm a pack house manager for the tomato pack house and the banana pack house. I would say maybe agriculture is one of the uh, sectors where it uh, attracts people from neighboring countries to come for employment because other places to find a job is very difficult. So people will migrate to this area because they want to get a better life for their families, they want at least to get employment. Africa is the youngest continent, full of energy, but at the same time is a continent with an enormous unemployment. Every year we would need to be generating 12 to 13 million of uh, job for the new entrants into the market economy and Africa only generates 3 million. This is again why I believe sustainable agriculture and climate smart agriculture and the rural areas play a crucial role. Agriculture is, I think it gives more jobs than any other jobs and people adapt easier to agriculture. You see, they learn quickly. Because it's there even in the rurals, in their homes, people still practice agriculture at, at a small basis. Most of the times they already know the work, but they need to adapt a little bit to the, to the circumstances of the hosting country. Capacity building creates immediate benefits and a win-win situation both for migrants and for the hosting communities. It doesn't matter if the girl black or white or whatever, to start doing the farm because that's where there is an economy. If you farm, then you're creating maybe job opportunities for other people as well. And there, there is a program from the government that people must start being, must be trained to also be able to, to farm and all that. That is why we are now even having a university of Bumala. So there is a need for us to keep on training people to be farmers. One of the strengths is to provide the adequate skills to migrants or non-migrants to rural communities in order to make agriculture modern. They need to, to learn new agricultural techniques. They need to learn how to strengthen the value chain of agriculture that goes from the uh, harvesting until the consumer. So to reinforce agribusiness, to reinforce harvesting, transportation, market opportunities. We bring them to the land, we start working with them. We sometimes prefer to let them work maybe for two, three months doing everything with their hands because we believe the more you do, that's the more you can, you can start learning. Because that's how it happened with me. I started working by, with my hands myself. Then I was then a foreman, supervisor, a manager, and then now I'm happy to be a production manager. If you've got potential, they give you space, they try to, to teach you. So after a long time, somebody decides to go, but they will have a lot of work experience. We do train them to become farmers because we believe if we empower them, then we'll be empowering the nation. A big issue for us is that rural areas have been neglected and that youth live in rural areas. A growing population in Africa that is supposed to double by 2050. And that's why we're working constantly to make agriculture attractive, to connect agriculture with rural and urban linkages, to make uh, agriculture part of the value chain, to make subsistence agriculture closer to agribusiness, to bring innovation, to bring ideas and success stories so other youth, when watching the neighbors succeeding, can also replicate with a good example. When I came from home, to be frank, I was just an ordinary guy. But for now, I've learned a lot. I've got a 16-year-old boy who is in Zimbabwe. I send money every time there, two after three months for food, for school fees, everything. You'll be going to university. I'm not worried about paying for him. I'll be able to do so. So it, it, it changes somebody's lives.